What is up, everyone? Today, we're going to be talking about primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. That's tertiary alcohols. And this is an important step in identifying how different alcohols are going to react. And in this lesson, we'll just focus on identifying these alcohols. So we have examples here on this screen of primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. Primary alcohols always look like this, where the OH group is at the end of an alkane chain. So if you see the OH just sort of tacked on the end there and no substituents hanging out around it, that's always going to be a primary alcohol, the alcohol being at the one position. Secondary alcohols are when you have an OH group hanging out in the middle of an alkane chain, like you see there in the middle. And lastly, tertiary alcohols are when you have an alcohol on a carbon chain that sort of makes this cross structure. So when you ever see that cross structure with an alcohol on it, an OH group on it, you know you have a tertiary alcohol. Okay, well, if we want to do this in a systematic way, it's really important to be able to identify the alpha carbon. And the alpha carbon is just the carbon directly attached to the OH group. Alpha carbons are important in a lot of different organic molecules, and it's always the carbon directly attached to the functional group of interest, which in this case is our alcohol group. So we look at where the alcohol group is. So for example, here's my OH group. Remember, there's no carbon there. That's just the OH group. And so the very first carbon we come to is that guy. And so that's going to be what we call our alpha carbon. So that's the Greek letter alpha. So sometimes you'll see a little alpha by those carbons. In this middle alcohol, we once again will identify our OH group and then think about the very first carbon it's attached to. That's right there. So that's going to be our alpha carbon. All right. And these, this tertiary alcohol here on the end, once again, we look at our OH group and we say, hey, you know what? The very first carbon attached to it's right there. So basically, you're looking for that first vertex after the OH. And that's going to be the alpha carbon. Okay, let's make that blue for consistency, huh? All right, now let's go ahead and add one more step here that's really going to help us nail down if something's primary, secondary, or tertiary. So first, we're going to identify the alpha carbon. It's the carbon the OH is on. Then we're going to count the carbons attached to the alpha carbon. Let me show you what I mean. So we already said, here's the alpha carbon. All right, no problem. Now, how many carbons are attached to that? Well, just one right here. So when we say attached, we mean directly bonded to it. So this one doesn't count because it's not directly bonded to the alpha carbon. So we have the alpha carbon shown there in yellow, and this guy is technically called a beta carbon. Anyway, you don't need to know the beta carbon name, but notice there that we just have one of our carbons attached to the alpha carbon, and that's going to mean that this is a primary alcohol. So let's compare that to the next alcohol. Here we have our OH group connected to, again, our alpha carbon. Notice that this one's bonded to one, two other carbons. And then in the last case, we highlight our alpha carbon, and it's connected to one, two, three other carbons. So if we're connected to just one carbon, then that makes it a primary alcohol. As we said, this first one here is primary. If it's connected to two other carbons, we got ourselves a secondary alcohol. And if we've got ourselves three carbons on it, we have a tertiary alcohol. Okay, so that's how we can categorize al alcohols as primary, secondary, or tertiary. Let's go through a few practice problems. All right, we're just going to do the same exact things here, where we first identify the alpha carbon. All right, so here's the OH, and the alpha carbon is directly connected to that OH right there. And then we think about, hey, what are the beta carbons? What are the carbons directly connected to that? Well, we find one right here, and we find one right there. Okay, so that's one, two. So there's two carbons connected to the alpha carbon. That makes that a secondary alcohol because there's two. So secondary, that's that guy. Anytime, remember that you have an alcohol showing up in the middle of a alkane chain, it's always secondary. And that's the case here. We have this nice alkane chain and then we toss an OH on in the middle and it's secondary. You might notice here right away, hey, we have this kind of cross structure, so that's gonna be tertiary. Totally true. Let's go ahead and do the more formal way. Here we have our alpha carbon. And then we count the carbons directly connected to it. One, two, three. So by directly connected, again, we mean just one bond away from that alpha carbon. All right, so because that's connected to three other carbons, it's going to be tertiary. And notice we see that cross-like structure that always means we have a tertiary carbon. Okay, two more practice problems. Here in alcohol number three, we're going to start out by identifying the alpha carbon as usual. It's right there. And then we want to identify the carbons connected to it. It's just going to be one. So notice some of you might want to grab this guy, but that would be two bonds away. One, two. So that one doesn't count, right? And that one doesn't count because those would both be two bonds away from our alpha carbon. So we just have one carbon 
connected to our alpha carbon, and that makes this guy a primary alcohol. All right, last one. This guy's an expanded structure. Let's identify our alpha carbon. It's right there. Let's identify any carbons connected to it. Just this guy is directly connected to it. So once again, we have just one carbon there, and that's going to make this a primary alcohol. Okay, so that's how we can identify alcohols as primary, secondary, or tertiary. And that's going to form the basis for future problem solving and thinking through the reactions that occur with alcohols.